Hello everyone and welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Today's episode is all about colour. Colour is extremely important in art and um, different colours do have different meanings. Just by changing one colour in an art piece you ultimately can change the whole art piece in itself. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do a colour wheel and also I'm going to be showing you how to do some colour mixing. So let's begin. So I've got my colour wheel, um, I've just printed this one out and um, you can see um, I've just indicated where I'm going to put my colours. Now you, you probably, probably won't know what this means now but I'll, I'll explain that in a little bit. Now to start a colour wheel you need um, the first primary colours which are blue, red and yellow. You can make all the colours in the colour wheel just by using these three colours. So I'm going to start with blue. And here we've got B for blue. Okay. Um Get the blue out of my brush. Next it's red. Now the reason why they're called primary colours is they're the colours that you start with and you don't mix anything to get them. So I'm going to put the red here. R for red. You might just choose to place the colours and then afterwards decide to um, sort of properly write red right next to the colour wheel. Okay, just gonna clean my brush again. Give it another clean. Next it's yellow. Yellow. So as you can see, I've got my three primary colours now on the colour wheel. Now the next step. Now I'm going to show you how to do um, secondary colours. Secondary colours are colours that you use just two colours to mix to get the colour. So in this case, I've got yellow and I've got red. You To get orange, I need to mix yellow and red. So since I've already got yellow on my brush, I'm just going to put some yellow on the palette here. Orange. Obviously the orange depends on how much red and how much yellow you put. So I've got my orange. The way I remember um, what is it when someone asks me what is a secondary colour is that second, think about second and secondary and it being two. So um now I'm getting a bit of yellow and putting it here and I'm putting a dash of blue and that makes the colour green. This is the colour green. Again, how, how bright the green appears depends on how much yellow and how much blue you put. Next, it's purple. To make purple, red and blue.
purple. So we've got orange, red, purple, blue, green and yellow. This is quite a dark purple but it is definitely a purple as you can see if I move it closer to the camera. Your tertiary colours are next to your primary colours and your secondary colours. So this is orange and yellow mixed together. This for instance is red and orange mixed together. So let me do them now. purple and red blue and green and finally yellow and green so I'm just going to mix a touch of my yellow with my green And there you go, this is the colour wheel. I've just drawn some arrows just to show you um, complementary colours. For instance, yellow and purple are complementary colours. They are placed opposite in the colour wheel. Red and green are complementary colours. Orange and blue are complementary colours. The reason why artists use complementary colours is because when they are placed next to each other they appear really vibrant and they reinforce each other and create more contrast. What I like to do is really use my colour wheel. So um, if I'm working on a project and I'm stuck on um, sort of what colours to use, what I like to do is actually um, take my colour wheel and just cut sort of a square in the middle of it. Also just you can cut around it. You can also mount it in cards just so it's a bit stronger and it will last a bit longer. So I've got my colour wheel. Okay. Um, it's still a bit dr uh, wet my one but you can leave yours to dry. And I can use the viewfinder just to um, place it on my artwork so if I'm stuck on what colours to use, um, look at the colours against each other, try to work out which colours work best. A lot of people ask me, how do you mix colours to make the colour brown? I'm just going to show you how to do that right now. So the easiest way to make brown is to mix the three primary colours. And these are, as I showed you, red, yellow and blue. 
Now, um, there's so many different shades of brown. You can get a more yellowish brown, depending on how much yellow you add, a more reddish brown, a more bluish brown. So um, you can sort of experiment to work out the exact brown you want to use. So I'm just going to mix the three colours. So this is the brown I've got so far. I feel it's a bit red, so maybe I want to make it a bit darker. So I bought, put some blue. So for instance, say I'm happy with this brown. Sort of a really sort of dark brown. Put in some yellow. Make it a bit lighter. Okay, so that's sort of a, a nice sort of shade of brown. can see so now you've got your color wheel now if you want to create a warm feeling to artwork if you want someone to look at it and think oh I feel really nice and warm and maybe happy and cheerful um, you can use this side of your color wheel which has all the warm colors artist Van Gogh uses these colors really well in his work he creates a feeling of happiness, a feeling of warmth. Just by looking at his artwork, you feel that. Now, um, if you want to create a cool effect to artwork, um, you can use this side of the colour wheel, which has cool colours. Artist Pablo Picasso used this brilliantly in his blue period, where you feel cold. Just by looking at the art piece, you feel physically cold. And also, you sometimes feel sad as well because of how dull and cool the colours are. So yeah, just give it a go and do a warm and cool painting. So hopefully now you know a bit more about colour and colour mixing. Now, um, when you're doing an art piece, please refer to the colour wheel that I just showed you how to do. And also, uh, really think about the meaning behind the colours that you're using when you're making an art piece. So thank you very much for watching my episode and if you have any questions please write them in the comment section below or you can email me as always. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.